Hello, good day everyone. This is Andrew again and now we have our PLS programming training for beginner part 1. For this lesson, we're going to have some PLC programming problems and we will try to solve the problem using PLC program. Let's have our first exercise. Exercise 1. Create a PLC program given the following condition. First, you have two push buttons and one lamp. And second condition, lamp will only turn on if both of the push button is pressed. Third condition, if one or more push button is released, the lamp will turn off. Let's have our demo. When I press push button 1, nothing will happen. When I press push button 2, nothing will happen also. But when I press both push button 1 and push button 2, lamp 1 will turn on. Now, I want you to post this video and try to solve it. Then, resume this video to reveal the answer. Okay, let's continue. This is the answer to our first exercise. Let's have our simulation. First, I will press push button 1. Nothing will happen because the circuit is not complete. When I press push button 2, nothing will happen also. But when I press push button 1 and push button 2, lamp 1 will turn on. Okay, that's it. Let's go to our exercise 2. Create a PLC program given the following condition. You have two push buttons and one lamp. Second condition is lamp will turn on if one or more push button is pressed. Third condition, if both push button is released, the lamp will turn off. Let's have our demonstration first. When I press PB1, lamp 1 will turn on. When I press PB2, lamp 1 will turn on also. And when I press both of the push button, lamp 1 will turn on also. The only condition where lamp will not turn on is when both button is released. Now, I want you to post this video and try to create a PLC program again. Then you can assume the video so that uh, you can see the answer for this exercise. Okay, let's continue. This is the answer for this exercise. When I press PB1, lamp 1 will turn on. And when I release PB1, lamp 1 will turn off. Then when I press PB2, lamp 1 will turn on. When I release PB2, lamp 1 will turn off. And when I press both push button, lamp 1 will turn on. And that's how we solve this uh, problem. Okay, let's go to our next example. Exercise 3. Create a PLC program given the following condition. You have two push buttons and one lamp. Lamp is initially on. The lamp will turn off if one or more push button is pressed. If both push button is released, the lamp will turn on. Okay, let's have our demonstration. The lamp is initially on. When I push push button 1, the lamp will turn off. When I release the push button, the lamp will turn on again. When I press push button 2, the lamp will turn off again. When I release push button 2, the lamp will turn on again. Then, when I press both push button 1 and push button 2, the lamp will turn off. Okay, now I want you to post this video again and try to create a PLC program. Then you can resume this video so that uh, you can see the answer. Okay, let's continue. 
this is the answer for that problem. Lamp 1 is initially on because as you can see on your ladder diagram, both of your contact is initially closed. That's why Y0 is initially energized. Then when I press push button 1, the circuit is disconnected. That will cause Y0 to deactivate. When I release PB1, Y0 or lamp 1 will turn on again. When I press PB2, lamp 1 will turn off again. When I release PB2, lamp 1 will turn on again. Next, when I press both push button, lamp 1 will turn off. And that's the answer for this uh, problem. Let's go to our next exercise. Create a PLC program given the following condition. You have two push buttons and one lamp. Lamp is initially on. The lamp will turn off if both push button is pressed. If one of the push button is released, the lamp will turn on. Okay, let's have our demonstration first. The lamp is initially on. When I press PB1, nothing will happen. When I press PB2, nothing will happen also. But when I press both push button, the lamp will turn off. I want you to post this video again and try to solve this problem. Then you can resume this video so that uh, you can see the answer for this exercise. Okay, let's continue. This is the answer for this exercise. As you can see, there are two parallel contact, X0 and X1. And because they are normally closed, that will cause Y0 or lamp 1 to turn on. Now when I press PB1, nothing will happen. Because as you can see, they are in parallel. Then... When I release PB1, nothing will happen also. When I press PB2, nothing will happen again. But when we press both push buttons, the lamp will turn off. Okay, this is the answer for this exercise. And let's go to our fifth exercise. Exercise number five, create a PLC program given the following condition. You have two push buttons and one lamp. The lamp will turn on if either of the two push button is pressed. The lamp will turn off if both push button is released or both push button is pressed. Let's have our demonstration. When I press PB1, lamp will turn on. When I press PB2, lamp will turn on also. But when I press both push button, nothing will happen or the lamp will turn off. Okay, I want you to post this video again and try to solve this problem. Then you can resume the video to reveal the answer. Okay, let's continue. The answer for this exercise is this one. When I press PB1, Y0 or lamp 1 will be energized. Then, when I press PB2, lamp 1 will turn on also. Then, when I press both PB1 and PB2, nothing will happen. And that's how we solve exercise 5. Let's go to our next exercise. Create a PLC program given the following condition. You have two push buttons one selector switch and one lamp. If the selector switch is off, the lamp will only turn on if both push button is pressed. If selector switch is on, the lamp will only turn on if 
one or more push button is pressed. Now let's satisfy the first condition. Our selector switch is turned off. It means both push button is uh, required to turn on lamp one. When we press PB1, nothing will happen. When we press PB2, nothing will happen also. But when we press both push button, lamp one will turn on. Now let's try to turn on the selector switch. Then let's press PB1. Lamp one turns on. Then when we press PB2, lamp one turns on also. And when we press both push button, lamp one will turn on also. And I want you to post this video. Then try to solve this problem. Resume the video to reveal the answer for this uh, exercise. Okay, let's continue. This is my answer for this exercise. You have a table uh, above. And this table is our guide to our PLC program and our hardware. Now, selector switches off. When I press PB1, nothing will happen. When I press PB2, nothing will happen also. When I press both push button, lamp 1 will turn on. Now, let's turn on the selector switch. When I press PB1, lamp 1 will turn on. When I press PB2, lamp 1 will turn on also. When I press both buttons, lamp 1 will turn on also. And that's how we solve exercise 6. I hope you enjoy this video. And uh, please wait for the next episode of our tutorial. And as we go on on our tutorial, the problems gets more difficult. See you on our next tutorial. Thank you. And that's it. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Please click the notification bell to notify you for new video. Please uh, like and share my YouTube videos. And please like my Facebook page, the Gizgon Mechatronics Engineering Skills Tips, Tricks and Learning. And please click see first on Facebook to notify you for new posts. And uh, thank you again. See you next time.